Commodore stands in relation to the gold reserves which belong to, let's remember, a sovereign foreign country. Yes. And I don't believe yes. the Bank of England should be intervening in what is a partisan way on this very, very real crisis that's taking place in Venezuela right now. I'm uh, have to leave fairly soon because there's going to be a statement in the House of uh, Commons today on Venezuela, and I want to see if I can intervene in it, if at all possible. But look, the British government's, uh, the British government's uh, whole position is simply acting as Donald Trump's poodle cannot be allowed to stand without opposition. And we therefore need, I think, to garner support and to tell the truth about what's happening. It will not be in anybody's interest, will it, for the British government to support more sanctions and potentially get involved in another military adventure. We saw where that led in Iraq, an utter disaster. And it's therefore important, I think, for all of us that believe in democracy and human rights to stand up for the principles of democracy and human rights and oppose these sanctions, oppose the actions of the Bank of England and call on the British government to use its good officers to bring about democratic dialogue in Venezuela. Not this bellicose rhetoric that we're seeing from Alan Duncan and other British ministers today. So thanks again for turning up. Let's make sure that we continue to build the pressure to ensure that we get a fair and decent outcome in the interest of ordinary Venezuelan people and that we oppose this march to war that we're seeing from certain hawkish uh, ministers and, and MPs in the House of Commons. We need your support to make sure that we see a humanitarian outcome, not a humanitarian catastrophe in Venezuela. Thanks again and solidarity to everybody who's come today. Yeah.